I remember the first place that I went to after the first shutdown uh, was a strip club right across the street from a Benihana. Let's get into the episode. Hello and welcome to the Early Morning Podcast. It is episode 44. Uh, it is February 1st, 2021, 1220 exactly. Um, this is the, the New Year's, New, not New Year's Eve, the New Year's episode, the holiday episode, all mixed in one. Um, I apologize once again. I'm sorry for getting one out late. But it was Christmas and it was holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Um, I don't know what the Eastern Hemis um, celebrate, but whatever it is or whatever it is you do, grab a J, grab a brew, grab whatever it is you do and whatever it is you celebrated, I hope it went well. Um, whether it's the Chinese New Year, Japanese New Year, Korean New Year, Taiwanese New Year. Um, let's see if we can keep going. Said that one, said that one. Um, Vietnamese, not sure if I said that one. Um, Cambodian New Year. I mean, Laotian New Year. All of them, dude. Whatever kind of New Year you celebrated, I hope it went well. I hope it was safe. And um, hopefully we'll see what, when this episode comes out. Um, we've all been pretty busy and shit, you know, with family and all that. So we'll try to get this out as soon as possible. But... Um, you know, around this time, you know, you could see, if you see me on, on visual, if you're watching on YouTube, um, but we, you guys, you know, we're available on YouTube with video and audio, audio on Spotify, iTunes and Stitcher. Uh, we got a TikTok, uh, at the early morning pod, which actually has been doing lucky numbers. You know, my last talk got over 500 likes, man. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Um, but what's it called? Yeah. Uh, Instagram at J-R-I-P-P-Y-V. And our email is business at the early morning pod dot com. Or podcast rather dot com. Sorry. Um, but yeah, dude. I, I'm, you could see I'm dressed up. I got the ugly Christmas sweater. But it's not that ugly because I got, you know what I'm saying? Rona. I mean, they always say Rona season. But when is it not? You know what I'm saying, and we can do a quick sneaker cam if you want. See if it matches the what the what the what the Rona's got. I mean, I won't even say anything. That's all. It looks like the fucking uh, camera's glitching. I don't know. I hope not. But anyway, man. I'm dressed festive, Loki. All right, just like I was wearing the uh, the flannels for a bit. Maybe we'll hop back on that wave. By the way, it's hot as fuck right now. It's. It, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna catch a sweat by the end of this recording, but um, dude, in Cali, it is right now. It's 73 degrees. Okay, and I'm wearing this fucking Christmas sweater, so it's not really, you know. The, the appropriate weather scheme or weather pattern, as they would say on the news, but whatever, dude, we're still doing the damn thing, keeping it festive, keeping it regular. Um, but if you dress up your dog in a fucking Christmas sweater, again, we can't be friends. If you have an Instagram for your dog, we can't be friends. If you have an Instagram for your parakeet, we can't be friends. Or at least we can't see eye to eye on things. I, I don't know why y you would get your animal something i mean dog fucking it. it's just it's a, it's something that upsets me for no real reason but i've seen i've been to places where dogs have fucking one leg and are missing both eyes and they're surviving on their own you think a dog needs your fucking puffer jacket or whatever the fuck little christmas pattern uh hoodie or whatever the fuck you got him to get through the winter no motherfucker I think we'll be fine, okay? And not only does it not need it, you're you're probably making the guy depressed as hell, dude. Or girl, dude. Whatever fucking... I mean, we've talked about, you know, my friend Dre's dog, how she puts him through shit. I mean, poor thing's got, like, 
got to deal with so much shit first of all wearing around the collar representing the gay community not even knowing what like what sexuality he is we did discover he could be pan or bi but i mean still it's up in the air um it's just like dude why do that to your dog it's like dyeing the, their color of their hair i mean their hair their fur you know you're gonna what are you gonna do like red green and white like i don't know i don't know that's christmas colors but um last night in my area on christmas eve i was expecting it to be because usually it's just fucking crazy with like fireworks the new year and all that but dude there were not that many not that many the only firework that's going on is on my fucking forehead right here i woke up with this nice little pimple to start off the new year but if that's what it's gonna be that's what it's gonna be i don't care you can see it beautifully on cam little shiner coming through but yeah man yeah, like i've especially because like i said once it drops below like set like 68 65 here in cali people lose their fucking minds like they act like the, it's the apocalypse is coming they go and buy all this expensive winter clothes and shit like that that they wear for two weeks I've said it before and then now they go and get the shit for their dog and they just it's basically animal abuse man just fucking it's like if you're gonna hit Mike Vick with that shit, hit these people in in these suburban ass areas and shit doing wild, just not, not wild. It's not Mike Vick shit. Obviously a joke, but like I don't know. If you if you're basically if you're gonna dress your dog, man, just don't fucking send me pictures of it and don't invite me over around. I don't want to see the fucking dog. I don't want to see it be put through that shit, walking all shitty like that. I mean that sucks. What doesn't suck, dude? is um this this individual that i uh yeah i'll just say yeah this individual that um i've been talking like a homie but um out of nowhere it's a girl um out of nowhere man she invited me to go to a pistol range and you know i've been i've been with not been with girls but i know girls that are like they're that like their firearms and that like are like pro gun or whatever like guns have guns maybe even but i've never been invited to go shooting with a girl so i'm like I'm, I'm wondering like is this like first like date vibes or is this like hey we're cool let's go dump off a few rounds which i'm cool with both of those man but like i've talked i don't know if i've talked about it maybe i'll, I'll save that for later man but now I have talked about it. When you know a girl can put you in a rear naked and if you if you look at her the wrong way or if you raise your voice a little bit accidentally maybe or maybe you fucking overcook your tr the trout you caught for her or something like that. Things could go left, man, and, it, and if it gets physical, dude, you could be put at a disadvantage if you don't if you're not a purple belt, brown belt or black belt in jiu-jitsu or you don't know how to fucking throw a great right hook. You know what I'm saying? And she does. Then again, you you involve you know nine millimeter, forty millimeter, two two three five five six rounds in there. Gets even more dangerous. Say less. You know what I'm saying? And you know when when the girl asked me, like I said, it's it was just, it's just a friend, man, just like a, 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 a like a I guess mutual friend. But she was like, "Yo, I I know you like this. So I like this. You want to hit the range? Just hit the range." And I was like fuck i mean yes but where does this put me as a as like a target you know maybe not as it could be a sexual target could be a friendly target or it could be a target to for her to just want to come up you know oh we're at the range bow you know what i'm saying i that's where my mind it goes that way i get nervous you know what i'm saying i don't know man i'm not saying that woman shouldn't shoot guns or be near guns that's not what i'm saying no, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, like it's it, it it just really surprised me. It surprised me as fuck, dude. Like I don't know. And if you can tell, man, I lost my voice a little bit. Sound like I've been smoking a pack of cigs per day. Haven't been doing that. Um, you know. But if it is, grab you a J, grab you a brew, grab whatever it is you do. Whether it may be a stove, I don't know. But um, I was in Big Bear again, and um, again. The homie Iman, Bongo Boy, fucking kept us up till 3.30 in the morning. Guy was literally playing his set from his bed, sitting in bed with a gigantic speaker blasting in our face. Wouldn't let the goddamn cabin sleep. 
like seven, eight people in the cabin, and homie is playing a fucking house set in the middle of the night, and we were supposed to be up at seven to go snowboarding. I mean, I fucking, t- I, t- I, t- I told him to his face, I love and I fucking hate you sometimes, man. Like, you know, we got to be up early. I mean, he was, you know, he was mad about that people were, they were, they were going to bed early. We we're supposed to catch the first snow up in Bear, the local hill. And uh, it got pushed till three in the morning and everybody was like, fuck it, we're going to bed. Nah, not Iman. Iman hangs around, bro. Iman mixes fucking... I don't know any of their names, Peggy Goo, um, Swedish House Mafia, whatever the fuck, I don't care, and then I, I, I don't know, it got, it got wild, bro, and then, you know, we'll put a video of him, um, trying to get in the homie's bed, made me cry laughing, bro, I mean, if you, if we can hear the sound on that plug, if you could do that, that'd be amazing, bro, but at least the last, like, 10, 15 seconds or whatever, straight comedy, man. Um, and w- one more thing, you know, that reminds me, and I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't want to say rant, but I'm gonna speak on this as a local, as a born and raised in SoCal and California native, you know, um, we've been getting shit, and I mean we as in Californians, and especially people in SoCal, people hate on our fucking governor, governor all the time, Governor Newman's and some, and even Californians, okay, which we have the right to, because he's our goddamn governor. I'm low-key sick of people out of this state just hating on California and calling us pussies just because they think they know what's going on in our state or they maybe check their local news sources and see some shit. Dude, you're not here. You don't know what's going on in L.A. County, in Orange County, in San Bernardino County, in Riverside County. You don't know how, how many people are sick. You don't know why this shutdown is going down. Yeah, we got to stay at home order. Look at me. I'm not at home. I'm in the stew. Okay? That's, I mean, we're grinding. That, I mean, we're, we're putting, the, we're getting the pod ready, dude. We're getting it out there. But still, who the fuck are you to say if you don't live in Cali? No, I'm not talking directly to the listeners. I'm just saying, got to get it off my chest, dude. Let them hear it. There are people that I'm talking to in in New York and in, um, what's it called, Florida, over there, all over these states. They're fucking giving us shit because we can't go outside or we can't go to the bar and shit. Dude, people are fucking sick left and right, man. We we have literally stay-at-home orders not to go anywhere, man. I don't know if you have it like that, but if you don't, then you can't really speak on it, what's going on over here, bro. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Like, I'm not hating on any other state. If, if, it's a, if it's in your state, dude, worry about your own goddamn self. Didn't they teach you that in kindergarten, man? Anyway, this is a comedy podcast, and I am I got a little bit serious. But anyway, yeah, dude, if you're not from SoCal, don't speak on it, man. Or from California, period, dude. What, are you going to help us with our homeless problem, too? And rental rates? Fuck out of here, man. But anyway, dude, this girl hit me up out of the blue that wanted to have a threesome in high school, back in high school. And it was, she called me at like 1245 at night. And that was funny as hell, dude. She was with the girl that she wanted to have the threesome with. And they were just drunk screaming at me for no reason. So, I mean, I don't know. That's how, I, that's, how I've been, that's how the, my week was, has been going. I mean, it went from bear to p- fucking shutdown to thunderstorms to a girl calling me in the middle of the night. Hey, remember when we almost had that threesome? Hey, thanks for putting it in my head while I'm about to go to bed. That's cool. And thanks for also calling me with the girl. That's cool as well. I guess I will just keep it like that. I'll look forward to your weekly phone calls. Hey, remember that time we almost fucked? Any girl that's listening that I'll, that we almost fucked? Go ahead and do that now. Call me in the middle of the night and be like, hey, remember that time we almost fucked and it's a pandemic and shit? Should have done it, huh? And then I'll just go to bed and just be like all sad and shit and be like, oh, thanks. That's nice. Whatever, man. Yeah, dude, like how, how, hold on. How ballsy do you have to be to just be like, yeah, remember when we almost had that threesome? Uh, Dude, girls, sometimes girls, when they say, you know, it's just because that liquid courage was flowing, bro. And then, you know, you say wild shit. But how ballsy do you have to be to be like, yeah, that threesome, what about it? Like, what, we, do you want to handle it now? Like, what the fuck? That was like six years ago, man. I don't know. 
And then three, I don't know why this is almost not incestual at all, but like just weird, a weird transition, but it kind of makes sense. You know, my sister has recently started dating her first boyfriend, which as an older brother, it's it's a difficult, to, not difficult, but like weird to deal with that. I'll be honest, okay? It is a little bit weird to deal with. And especially with my culture, with my shoot is that you guys may know, it's it's not the smoothest transition when your younger sister brings a guy home or is talking about a guy or whatever. Anyway... My sister can be somewhat of a fucking cunt to this guy, man. And he's a good kid. Um, she, I heard him the other night roasting th the shit out of him for playing video games. And I think I said this before, how guys get shit for, for like, wasting, or, or like wasting time. And uh, they could be being more productive or could be working. Shut the fuck up, man. As if girls, uh, g guy or girl gamers... You bitches waste your time doing other shit too, man. I've talked about the Kardashians on here. I've talked about Real Housewives. I've talked about Love Island. Don't tell me you haven't sat your ass down and ate a fucking full carton of ice cream watching Kardashians for three and a half hours. And if you haven't, you're full of shit. Then you're doing the same thing watching James Charles, a straight guy, do put makeup on. I mean, come on. Let let the homie live, bro. Let him live. Let him enjoy him, himself, dude. Or Shimself, dude. I haven't seen his piece yet, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, dude. You, you To say... It's like saying anything. It's like saying me doing this podcast is a waste of time. I should be studying. I'm on break. But, like... It's like you can use it for anything. Oh, you should be looking for a job. In the, I mean, yeah, I, I have a job. But still, it's like... Anything you you should have do this you should do that that's just a pers that's perspective thing man it's all perspective I don't know I guess my perspective on, on hating on the Kardashians could be fucking up my life if I turn on a couple episodes watch a couple seasons watch Love Island a reality show where they get I don't know if you've heard of this man and I'm not gonna probably ever talk about this again I'm just sick of hearing about it I heard about it first from my friends like months ago months ago before the pandemic. They were on it, and they thought that they would be able to pick up girls at bars because of this stupid-ass show. Didn't really work. It worked once or twice, but, I mean, the odds are against you, my friend. And what are they? May the odds be forever in your favor, Game of Thrones. And I got fucking accents for days, bro. Drop a comment, I'll hit it. So I don't know if I'm going to get too deep into the other ones, you know, racial profiling, stuff like that. But, um, um, fuck, that... Man, and that distracted me, man. I was going off on the gaming thing. I had it set. I knew what I was going to talk about. But um, anyway, this week in the news has just been shit. And, you know, I like to do a current the old event sometimes. But this one was good enough to, I guess, we'll end, it, end the pod on this. Um, okay, this, and then we'll, put, we'll post a picture of it here. Um, you know these monoliths? these monolith things that like started c popping up about a month ago or less um if you don't know a monolith or what a monolith is google it or watch 2001 space odyssey it's almost basically a like a, a film on the beginning of man and stuff and there's this thing called a monolith that's involved anyway they've been popping up randomly all over the world i believe the first one was in uh, overseas i think and then there was one in the grand canyon i think somewhere i don't know but they're they made a gigantic one. I can't I can't recall where, but if we can find the picture, it'll be here. Of made out of gingerbread, which I was like I was getting annoyed of seeing like it was like a gingerbread house, not house, but literally made of gingerbread with the fucking icing and all that shit. Just a wall, straight fat wall of it, dude. And I was like, you, that's a good troll. Like, if that was Bansky or wh whoever, dude, that did something like that, shout out to them because that's a good troll and, like, a needed time, man. And I did hear this meme, and I guess we'll end it on that. If you thought 2020 was crazy, wait till 20 it's 2021, and it could start drinking. Speaking of drinking, you should be hungover and or drunk from last night still. Until next episode, thank you guys for listening. Spread the word. Early morning podcast. Uh, we're on TikTok under Early Morning Pod, Instagram at J R I P P Y V, 
And uh, if you got any, any kind of emails or comments or anything, drop the comment below or email at business, business at the early morning podcast.com. Till next time, peace.